And again, I received two more pictures. So I'm like, what's going on? Again, I was kind of a little skeptical getting this message. So I scrolled down on the person without me even having to message them back. They apologized. And I'll show you the pictures again. How you doing? This is your boy YC. And your girl Nay. This, this is, is the world, world of Nay and YC. So today is the first episode of our new playlist, uh, Story Time. Story Time is going to involve us, me and Nay, telling real world stories with real facts that actually happen because um, things need to be put out there and a perspective needs to be drawn. Like y'all getting caught up in the camera. Mm -hmm. There's real life going on. Anything y'all see is what we want y'all to see. Remember right. that. So we're actually about to get started right now. Mm -hmm. So we were editing, me and Nate, we were chilling, editing mm -hmm. our video, cooling, just macking really, nothing heavy going on. All of a sudden I get a text and the text, I don't pay it much mind because you know, your phone be going off reaction wise. My phone, I'm a busy man. So I have a lot of people hitting me up on a regular basis. Long story short, when I took the time to open the message, mm -hmm. it was pictures. So the pictures, it kind of threw me for a loop. I'm looking at the pictures like what's really going on and I'll show you guys these pictures so y'all know I'm not lying. So y'all know I'm not just making this up as I'm going along because we have way more uh, pressing things that we could be doing instead of fabricating lies and telling right. you guys it's real. So we're trying to connect with y'all here. So the picture threw me for a loop. I'm like, why is they send me a picture? So I responded like, who is this? Naturally as anybody would. And the person responded by not necessarily answer my question, but with a question or with a statement. So the person, long story short, and again, before I go any further, I have consent to talk about this. I'm not airing out any laundry. We actually were asked to- Put this to, on our channel. Right, to, to show our support on our channel, because this is obviously what we wanna um, do is help the community and advocate for people. So mm -hmm. the person responded that they are going to go get flowers and balloons and the picture, I'll show you the picture one more time. It looks real heartfelt and serious. So having my brother just passed, I'm like, is this somebody trying to send me a message or where, where is this going? So quickly they send me another message and respond, apologizing that the number that I have is actually her or the person's nephew's number. Mm -hmm. And the person was saying that the nephew's son, so I guess the great nephew was actually killed in a hit and run. Right. This is a real life. Like this is, I can't even make no this up. Joke. So basically I told her, I was connecting with the person. I was like, my brother passed away not too long ago, hoping to raise their spirits. Mm -hmm. And I was like, which threw me for a loop, honestly, you know, cause it just seemed coincidences don't happen though. It's only, everything is meant to happen. So I was like, I'm just trying to send you positive energy your way to help with your condolences. And I told the person that it will get better. They thanked me. And then me, as savvy as I am and ambitious as I am, I threw my YouTube link out there. I put myself out there and I told them, if you're looking for motivation, inspiration, and positive support on a consistent basis, please subscribe to our YouTube channel because it's not really about the clout or energy. Let me say it is about the energy, but it's not about the clout or notoriety. It's about when you imbue positive energy in your food, you can taste the love, braid and hair, clothing, music, you can feel the love. And right now, even with all our other channel playlists and episodes, it's nothing but love, positive energy. So when you watch us, you're gonna feel more animated, more, uh, you're gonna feel more uh, cog cognitive thinking. Your mental agility is gonna pick up because you are a representation of the things and people you listen to. And obviously we're high octane, high caliber, just good energy upper echelon stuff so i wanted to raise their spirits because i could feel the connection it was real it draws you down when you talk about sad things it does drain you sometimes so i'm over here like bae like bae it's this person just messaged me like and i told her you know because you know what i'm saying she obviously has been with me through everything i thought it was about my little brother and i'm like shoot i just sent him my youtube link and i believe that she got on one of our episodes and actually commented which i think was real cool so it ended up turning into a conversation between us where I guarantee if they didn't find any inspirational or motivational content to lift their spirits, then I will give them their money back, which obviously was just a joke. 
an attempt at a lighthearted joke to raise their spirits. Friday, June 4th comes, which obviously wasn't that long ago. And again, I received two more pictures. So I'm like, what's going on? Again, I was kind of a little skeptical getting this message. So I scrolled down on the person without me even having to message them back. They apologized. And I'll show you the pictures again. So you can see it. They apologized to me and was quickly to say, you know, we're having a candlelight visual tonight. Um, please, at where Michael Braden Riven Bank, Riven Bank, okay, was killed. Well, it also turned into the conversation where the person wanted us to put it on our YouTube so we could show you guys that we don't support hit and run accidents, but we do support victims of it. Obviously, victims that have been wrongly victimized uh, out of the situation and they haven't, you know, quite got their justice from it. I mean, and that's what it is. They're, they're still not at peace because their loved one, obviously, not only was a victim, but collateral damage, they're a victim as well because they haven't had peace at what happened. So they also continue to tell me, you know, obviously, again, the uh, hit and run, there are different scenarios. This one resulted because of drunk, drunk driving. Obviously, you shouldn't drink and drive. Right. But they also prompted me to look it up on WCTI 12, and I have that for you guys, too. So, so this will get more surreal. I want this to sink in for y'all, because it's right um, in New Bern. Yeah, it happened right in New Bern. So y'all can look at that, and if y'all can't tell, that's a mother crying over her child. And no mother should have to bury her child before it's their time to go. I don't even want to think about that. So, again, um, y'all can go look that up on your own time, okay? Right. But uh, it's real. It's there. This is not fabricated. It's not cat. We're not flogging. This is just real, real life. Like, this is the type of things that we be waking up to. So, I told them I would do that. I asked them if it was okay. And I asked them what their name was. And they were quick to give me their name. Um... The boy was actually the person's great nephew, so I was correct. And the name was, or the person's, the great uncle who was actually messaging me this whole time, their name is Jimmy Murphy out of Bridgeton. So, and the church area was St. Delight's Church Road. I guess that's where the vigil was being held at, I believe. Um, and the person, the victim that was murdered or killed in the hit and run accident, his father's name was Michael Rivenbank. So, y'all, send them positive vibes. And he ended this message by telling me, I guess the dad, Michael Rivenbank, I have his old number now. So, the guy thought the whole time that he was sending photos to his nephew, um, because of his great nephew that passed, but I guess I have his old number. So, you never know why you're put in certain situations and why you're put to connect and meet certain people. You don't know if it's to help a person. You don't know if you just stop that person from suicide. Right. You don't know if you were put there to bless them and show them out of your life and examples out of your life that things can get better. So this is our first story time. We want to end this by let's have a heart to heart. And um, just because we're we are parents and stuff like that is crazy. So, Nay, I'm going to give you the floor. What is your perspective on the whole story time what's your perspective on the hit and run the drunk driving right, so, the man losing his nephew all that right so my opinion on the situation is please y'all don't drink and drive that's you you not only if you are you driving for yourself but you're driving for other people too so just be safe out there especially like if you're gonna if you're gonna drink call an uber right call a lift somebody that'll pick you up or something and let them know before like you get in a Lyft or Uber that somebody know that you're in a Lyft or Uber because you never know in this society people it's creeps out here and Correct. just blessings and peace to that family because I'm a mother and I would not I would lose my mind but you know sometimes God puts you in situations to test you and to you know see if you could you know just just talking about it just 
it, it, it put it, it made like it put something in my spirit like I just and just you know um I don't know you guys just don't drink and drive and blessings and peace to that family we're, we're gonna be praying for you right for sure surely yes yeah, so you that's guys, I'm sorry baby. that's that's about it for how I see the whole perspective you guys have definitely been in my thoughts lately because it was a um, real different experience. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click that subscribe button and bell down below. This We're going to have a lot more stories, right. a lot more real stories to tell you guys about our experiences and opportunities and things that have come our way. Mm -hmm. Right, and if you missed out on YC's Motivational Monday, we're going to leave that at the top above. So you guys go check that out. It's it really brings something to your spirit. Like, we're going to have those every Monday. So go ahead and check that out. For sure, you guys. And if you have any questions, insights on content, any anything, interact with us. We'll definitely get back and message you guys. Um, follow us on Facebook at Nate and YC's World. Um, so you can guys can catch all the exclusive update and content. Um, this has been a good day with you guys. We're probably about to sign off. This is YC. And your girl, Nate. And this is the world of Naomi. Peace. Peace.